In this video, we step through what's new in iOS and iPadOS 13.4. While viewing live lyrics in the music app, you'll notice an ellipsis to denote the instrumental introduction before spoken lyrics appear. You can also use Siri to go back to the home screen. All you need to do is say, hey, you know who, go back to the home screen. And not long after, the personal assistant will oblige. One of the most baffling decisions in iOS 13 was the mail app toolbar. This is how it used to look. You just had a delete button and a reply button, and it was easy to accidentally press the delete button when you meant to press reply. But in iOS 13.4, now you go back to how it used to be. You get a separation between delete and reply. You also get a move button and a compose button, just an overall better layout for the Mail App toolbar. After seemingly endless delays, iCloud Drive folder sharing is now here. So you could see the little share icon on the folder let me show you how you can add sharing to a specific folder. So you just long press and then you select the share button and that's gonna give you all sorts of sharing options. You're gonna tap add people and that will allow you to share the entire contents of that folder with your friends, family, and whoever else. In iOS 13.4, there are nine new Memoji stickers. So these aren't regular Animoji stickers, but these are the ones for your Memoji characters. So the first row of three, you see the one with the steam coming out of the nose. You see the one with the hearts and the little celebration Memoji. And if you scroll down, you're gonna find some additional ones. The one with the hands on the face, I call it the home alone Memoji. Then you have the laptop Memoji. Then you have the three below that. And you also have the rolling eyes Memoji. Of course, that's a staple, right? So here are all nine of them placed into the notes app. Which one's your favorite? Let me know down below. And in 13.4, you have a new accessibility option to always listen for hey, you know who. So when you have your phone face down or covered up, Hey, you know who doesn't work, right, normally. But if you go into the accessibility settings and then you scroll down until you see where it says Siri, and then you scroll down on that page, you'll find this option right here, always listen for, I'm not gonna say it, but you see it. You enable that toggle, this allows your assistant to always listen, even if your phone's face down or covered up. You'll also find a new Shazam shortcut action in the Shortcuts app. So I've created a new Siri shortcut called Listen Up. And once I do that, it's going to use that new Shazam action to identify the music playing in the background, which you can't hear right now, but you'll see what it is. There we go. Pretty cool new feature. All right, so let's get into some really interesting stuff. Let's transition over to the iPad because this is what really benefits from this new update. Of course, you have some new photo app keyboard shortcuts so you can navigate not only between the main tabs, but also between the different views in the photos tab. But here's of course the main new feature in iPad OS 13.4, trackpad and mouse support finally come to the iPad. So you can easily pair a magic mouse or magic trackpad. I'm doing so right now using Bluetooth settings. And there you go. Look at that cursor input, just like that. And I can navigate around the operating system. I can control things. So I'm just launched an app. I can invoke the dock, invoke slide over or split view, manage that. Folks, this is downright amazing. And actually, I've already posted a new video outlining 50 new mouse and trackpad features to help you get started with this new way to control your iPad. But it doesn't stop there. Thanks to iPadOS 13.4 applications, yes, even third-party applications can now take advantage of keyboard events. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you can now go beyond just mere keyboard canned shortcuts. Now you can actually control content on screen using your keyboard. Notice how I'm moving our little Chibi here in Chibi Studio using the keyboard. Yes, I'm actually manipulating content on screen using the keyboard, just like you could do in Mac OS. This is Chibi Studio. Be sure to check it out. It's from 9to5Mac's Guy Rambo. Excellent app. Definitely check it out. Notice here I'm able to change the layering of my Chibi shirt using the keyboard. Folks, this is just the start. And if all that didn't blow your mind, this one will. Full keyboard access is a new accessibility feature in iPadOS 13.4. 
We'll have a video going live soon with a full overview of this new feature. But basically what this allows you to do is control your iPad entirely with a hardware keyboard. Notice the little blue line going around the sidebar. Folks, watch me control my iPad using nothing but my keyboard. Look at that. It's like Mac OS, being able to navigate around the operating system using nothing but the keyboard. I can absolutely see this being super handy for those with impaired movement. But truthfully, I can see this being useful just in general, like being able to control your iPad using your keyboard, tabbing around different places within the OS, similar to Mac OS. But it goes beyond that. You can actually assign gestures to certain keyboard shortcuts, so you can actually invoke a gesture like a two finger pinch with a keyboard shortcut. Uh, it goes way deeper than that. You can even go in and customize individual keyboard shortcuts as well. So if you don't like what a shortcut is assigned to, you can change it up. Of course, you can reset them all to defaults if you wanna do that. See how I was able to change up the help menu to my own custom shortcut. It is just extremely impressive to see this on the iPad. Now, let me show you something else that I found really cool, a find function. So you can tab F and then just search for anything and it pulls it up like that. So Bluetooth, it found it super easy. Uh, let me show you something else though here. Let's go down, watch this. So I can invoke the app switcher with the keyboard shortcut and do all sorts of other things. I can even rotate my device like that using a keyboard shortcut and beyond. Folks, like I said, we'll have more in a dedicated video outlining this insanely cool new feature. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What's your favorite new feature in iPad OS slash iOS 13.4? Sound off down below in the comment section and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.